Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This week we've had this Cartago Sea line in for an upgrade. I'm gonna take you through what we've done on it. This is a very common upgrade. It's sort of our bread and butter, uh, reasonable size upgrade on a motorhome. So that's a two kVA inverter charger, lithium battery upgrade, DC, DC, and then solar as well. Uh, usually it's a massive jump from what the customers had before because often they don't have an inverter. The jump from lead acid to lithium batteries is massive. And then obviously the additional charging capability in terms of uh, DC, DC charging while you're driving and then the additional solar makes a massive difference. And a lot of customers that get this upgrade uh, comment on how much of a of a change it was to how they could use the van and the usability of the van and things like that. So yeah, I'm gonna take you through how we did it and uh, how we put it into this particular van, trying not to disrupt too much, keep as much storage as available, use stuff that's already there and uh, sort of space that's already there and uh, make the most of the setup. So let's take a look. Okay, so here is most of the system. So in here we have a Fogstar 280 lithium battery laying on its side in the original battery box. So obviously take the two lead acids that are often in here out and reuse that space for the lithium. Uh, we've got a Victron MPVT and an Orion XS uh, DC-DC charger. So that's our solar charging and then uh, charging while the vehicle's running. And then of course the 2 kVA MultiPlus, which we tuck in underneath there. So obviously this is useful storage space but it also works well in this instance where it's close to the battery, doesn't, you don't lose a huge amount, and it's just a great place to put that inverter, tucks in there nice and neat, and we run wires, the 230 volt AC wires we run through to the back to the consumer unit, so that all of the van is powered, so all of the plug sockets work when you're off grid, etc. So yeah, pretty pleased with how it all works. We use a Bluetooth dongle to allow the customer to be able to see all of these devices on the Victron Connect app. So the inverter, the MPBT, and the DC-DC charger. And then obviously they can see the Fogstar battery on the Fogstar app. So yeah, pretty pleased with how that's turned out and how it looks. And it's gonna give the customer a lot of options while they're traveling. And then up here, what we have, the customer already had a 150 watt panel on the side there. So we added a second 150 watt panel to complement it wired them together and what this meant is that they don't lose the capability of what was there previously and the sort of investment of that uh, but it gives them more power when they have sunshine uh, by adding a second one on there and often we'll do that so if there's already a panel on there if it's usable and we can tie in a reasonable uh, system with it we'll use it sometimes we'll leave it as its own standalone panel with its own MPPT uh, but and then sometimes we'll remove it if it makes more sense to remove it and put a bigger panel on so lots of options but in this case we added a second panel so they have a total of about 360 350 watts sorry not 360 around 300 watts because there's two 150 watt panels so there we go pretty good uh, setup for what they have here so there we have it the Orion will provide 50 amps while they're driving, which will charge the batteries at a much higher rate than they would have had previously. And then obviously the additional solar increases their solar yield when there's sun shining and uh, when the weather is good. This time of the year in winter, uh, solar is not that productive, but you really notice the difference and the performance increase uh, in the summer. So yeah, pretty pleased with how this all turned out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful. If you have any questions or anything like that, then reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Cheers. See you in the next one.